Hello out there. First, I'd like to welcome my seven new subscribers. Six of them whose names I don't know. And Briar Report. I thank you and welcome you. Well, today I'm going to do a quick little review of Sutliff's Sunset Rum. And since it's only like over less than two weeks away from Valentine's, I thought I'd do a review of an aromatic. And I'll be smoking it out of it. Smoking it today out of my Big Ben Festival. Yeah. Saddle bit stem. Now I've had this little bag of of Sutliff Sunset Rum. I guess for over a year, well over a year now. I think I got like a couple of ounces. And it's just been sitting in my cellar. Name's kind of faded out on it. Man. Yeah, it's still moist. I think that if there was ever a prize to a tobacco blender on who can hold the moisture the best, I think Sutliff will take the take the trophy home, hands down. Now, this has Bright Virginia, Burley, and Black Cavendish. It's supposed to have a rum topping and vanilla and caramel. Yeah, it still smells pretty good, of course. Now, if you like Captain Black, the chances are you're going to like this. Because it kind of has a aroma that's kind of similar to Captain Black. Okay. It's been a while since I smoked this little aromatic. And yeah, I don't get to, I kind of get the vanilla. Not so much the caramel. Yeah, I can taste the rum and and something like cocoa, chocolate-like. It's pretty good. So I can see why this um, why this aromatic is kind of popular. 
lot of people out there. I like it myself. Now I gotta say, as far as Salt Lift's bulks go, uh, this has to be one of their really better ones in their bulk selection. And it is worth a try. And for a little over a couple of bucks for an ounce, yeah, you can't go wrong. You ain't going to lose much. So I will get some more Sunset Rum in the future. I'm just not going to keep a whole lot of it on hand. All right, that's all I got for now. Thank you for dropping in.